Fugazi. Right? So maybe we should start out with a real normal thing for the people who might not know who you are. Okay. And like say who you are, what your names are, what you do, how you feel. And how was food tonight? How was the food and what about eggs and milk? <laughs> <laughs> Joe, I'll start, take that I'll start from this end. Uh, I'm Joe Lally, and I play bass. And uh, food was great tonight. Um, next, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Brendan Canty, B R E N D A N C A N T Y. I play drums, and uh, the food, the cheesy food, was very great tonight. And the foosball was wonderful. Hey, it's Key Bichotto. I used to, uh, sing in the band. <laughs> Food was very good. Yeah. My name is Ian, and we had corn and kidney beans, and that was uh, swell. I read that interview in, 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 in Trust magazine that Tommaso and Ute did, and it was like I really had very, very high expectations because uh, Tommaso and Ute they told all those stories about how Fugazi are so overwhelming and, and how, they, how they get into. Uh, they have a reaction from the audience and all that yeah. kind of stuff. So you're kind of let down. <laughs> Basically, I didn't want to say that, but... but well, you saw I said Berlin, oh, right? Just, just that when someone builds something so up, it always makes it very hard right. to... Yeah. This is a difference it. between playing and... and well, look, yeah, there's, yeah. A, there's yeah. a difference between playing here in America. The difference is we've been playing in America for about a year and a half now, and the people there... When we first started playing in America and when we toured the country, people didn't know what we were like, and the shows were not all, like, sudden explosions. Not only people... It takes a while for people to, to get over their expectations of what we're going to be, which is which comes from anything from knowing who's in the band and expecting one thing or, or a million other things. But when people, at, at least in our hometown, where people know us and like other places on the East Coast, which we played a few times, the reaction tends to start getting really great because people start getting into the music and enjoying it. We're coming over here without a record, without uh, without having ever been here over here before. And I mean, as far as I'm concerned, for Britain, a new band coming over here without without any experience touring Europe, it's been going great and people seem to me to really like it. I'm not disappointed at all. It's like, the only thing that's hard is playing um, the amount of shows we're playing in as short time as possible. This is not, and this is more shows than we've ever played in a row that I've ever done and it's, it's, it's very exhausting and it's, and, but other than that, I mean, I think, I think it's been really great. I yeah, I mean, both, both, of them, they, both of them really benefited from being able to see us play in Washington, which yeah. is our hometown. It makes a big difference. There's plenty of times we've played in the States in different cities where, I mean, the crowd, like, totally didn't react, you know. And there's no doubt about it, if the crowd, you know, really gets into the show, then the, it's like, like we uh, definitely get a lot more into it as well. Definitely, you know, hype, we, you know, it's a give and take thing, you know. It's not just the band, it's not just the audience. Uh, it's part like of being in the very, Yeah. The Oslo was very good because the people there all heard the tapes so much. It was like all, seeing like, crazy. Uh, it was like seeing life but how to live it in Oslo. Yeah. It was their hometown and just the way the audience reacted to the band. I mean, you could just look at the audience and just see how proud they were of their band and their hometown, you know. Like, this whole thing that will not exactly happen, you know, when they play somewhere else. But if you were to tell people about that show, then you would have, you know, like, whoa, you know, these guys are incredible. The question came to my mind because I, some, some time ago I read an interview with Rides of Spring in a pretty old fancy and I think it was uh, Guy who said that that um, nobody outside of DC ever really understood what, what was Right to Spring all about. So See, it's interesting. But that for me, like Right to Spring was a band. Like we played very, very few shows, and we played like once every three months, or maybe a little more than that in DC. And when we played, man, we were overripe and ready to play. We were fucking about to explode from not playing. So we played these shows that were like explosions, man. We just destroy everything, and people would go nuts, and we would go crazy, and it was just like it was. Uh, it would, but it's. That kind of band and that kind of atmosphere is not the kind of thing you can take on a traveling circuit show. I mean, you just cannot yeah, do sure. it. And but, so, but the thing is, for me, like to play, it's like, it's like from from, I don't know. It's 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 a, it's, it's it's very very difficult to explain what, what, where you try to pull it from, what you try to put out, and what you expect and stuff like that. But with Right to Spring, man, I mean that's for sure. We were definitely a hometown band. I don't want this band to be a hometown band. That band. Right to Spring to me was a was a very sad case of something that didn't get it didn't get anything near what it should have got. You know, I mean, it was a really good band, put out a good record, but no one no one really ever got a chance to see them. It was very insulated. This band wants to play to all kinds of different people and not just be like a Washington D.C. phenomenon. I'm interested in seeing Europe and playing to European audiences and interested in playing in America, and and and. Uh,
That's not it's just being a closed door, man. It's a challenging situation we're in also. I mean, <clears throat> you know, we have our respective pasts and people have a lot of preconceptions about the band before we play, always. And, uh, you know, it's like it's a challenge for us to sit down uh, to, to play and accept it or don't accept it. That's okay. You know, the whole punk ethic has always been, you know, you know where the fucking door is so you can go. And, you know, that's the whole point. We don't charge, like, incredible amounts of money. We don't promise them nothing. We just say, Fugazi, take it or leave it.